Hey everyone, my name is Matt. Welcome to my backyard. This time I'm going to be slicing up this uh, red oak crotch on my backyard built wide cutting bandsaw mill. If you missed the video where I picked up this uh, crotch, I actually went out and salvaged an entire tree that had blown over. That was a fun uh, adventure. That was back in the spring. And uh, this is the first piece of that pickup that I'm going to be cutting. It is the biggest piece, I guess. And it's like the last one that I picked up and put in the pile. So it's now going to be the first one going through the saw, I guess. <laughs> so uh, let's get this thing up onto the saw, get it uh, positioned and leveled and oriented. And then we'll take a look around and see uh, what we're dealing with. Crotch action. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. This log is kind of a oddball type of shape. It's doing kind of a curve kind of job thing. As the tree came through here, it kind of curved. So this is a little bit weird to get leveled out, but I think it's going to work out pretty well. So of course we got a crotch, so we should expect a good amount of crotch figure inside of here. We can see the, uh, the kind of bulge thing here as the two limbs come together. Uh, down here, we got about uh, 28 inch diameter and we're up about four feet there at the uh, top of the crotch. We do have this uh, old limb here, which, you know, there might be a little bit of rot infiltration in there, which could lead to some interesting staining inside of the wood, which should be pretty cool. What's uh, probably the most interesting thing about the, uh, the way this tree grew is like how much like negative space there is down in here. So instead of there being a lot of meat connecting these two, there really isn't a whole lot in here. So we're gonna only have, you know, slabs from this point to about this point. So it's not gonna be a whole lot of like full, I guess, width or full length slabs. We're gonna run a material pretty quickly. And then we're gonna have some very, very odd <laughs> uh, slabs with a very wide uh, V between them very wide and very long V of missing material. So that could be kind of interesting. Might be kind of fun for like um, an epoxy table or something. So you could have a big epoxy V in a area that's contained with wood. That could be kind of cool. I don't know. This is a, uh, this should be a pretty quick and hopefully uneventful one. So this crotch is, what's like 20 something feet in the air because there were two eight foot limbs or eight foot logs beneath this. And then we get to that point and this thing, whole thing is what, six feet long or so? So pretty high up in the air. I don't expect anything uh, foreign to be in there. Shouldn't be any embedded metal in here. So it should be a pretty easy slabbing job. So I'm gonna get the saw set for the first cut. Probably remove a few smaller boards or fall, uh, smaller live edge things from the top. And I'll try and aim to get the, uh, the first real slab to have, the, um, have one of the faces touching the top of both limbs. Yeah, that's nice. Let's just take a quick uh, preview of what we're going to be dealing with here. Man, that's gorgeous. Hello, gorgeous. <laughs> One of the things that I love about sawing like this area of the crotches are, before you get to the actual limbs, is this pattern that happens up here. So you have the green coming up one side, and then it travels across and then comes back down. So it's just a really cool like area of the tree that produces that, which almost looks like, you know, like a breadboard end on there because the grain runs across. It's so cool. goofy board. So I think at this point I might just go into making slabs since we're getting into the top of both of the limbs here. This first one I'll probably go a little thinner, maybe like a nine quarter, and then I'll try and grab a couple pieces of uh, ten quarter after that which should have the most amount of crotch figure in them.
Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's take a look. Man, my water skills are uh, lacking today. That was terrible. So this one's going to be kind of in a uh, interesting and odd shape with its uh, you know not complete width thing going on over there. And uh, it's generally kind of weird. But still some interesting things happening in this general area right here. <laughs> That's, uh, that's really about it. The exciting stuff is literally right here. All right, now that we're into both limbs, we should start seeing some uh, interesting things happening. Yeah, we're getting there. This is the start of the interesting things. So we have some old limbs, which are producing some interesting and the grain patterns around them. I'm getting into a little bit of uh, crotch action here. It's a little tiny bit. This little nubbin up here is giving us a little bit of interesting grain there as well. And then we have this knot down here, which is doing kind of the same thing. A little more interesting things going on over there too. All right. Ooh. Ooh. This is, this is going to be a good one. We got a little bit of crotch stuff happening here. And it looks like we have some really cool straight grain stuff around it. Oh, that is beautiful. Look at that. Would you, would you look at that? Look at those ray flex. Oh, we got some quarter sawn action right through here. We got some starts of crotch figure happening here. Oh, man. So in this area over here, you can see we got some ray fleck. That's what all this is. It's all quarters on through there. And then we're starting to get into the, uh, the actual crotch area. So this is a little bit of bark inclusion. We're starting to see the figure coming through for it. We got some kind of hole here. That's interesting, I guess. <laughs> With some uh, very unique staining surrounding it. So that is, uh, that is cool. The next, one, the next one should give us some serious crotch figure. <laughs> Come on, big money, big money, big money. Ooh. Ooh. There we go. There's some of that crotch figure. Yeah. That's the good stuff. Oh, that's nice. This is really nice. So we have a nice band of uh, crotch figure coming straight through here. We're seeing some ray fleck out here. Looks like we had like an old rotten limb here because it's kind of punky. And we got another one down in there. Well, that's a cool looking slab though. Man, I love it. We got some interesting things going on around this little hole here. This was an old limb at one point. Whew. I wonder what the next one's gonna look like. Some more ray fly. Oh, this one's got a little bit of rot too, which is also kind of an interesting look to things. That is interesting. Huh. Oh, this is nice. We got some quarters on ray fleck down here. This is a, oh, this is the bark. So we're getting through to the, uh, the outside of the tree. So we're into the, uh, the actual bark on the, uh, the bottom side of the log already. So that's uh, actually a bark void. Or I guess, a, well, I don't wanna call it an inclusion because we're outside the log already. That is, this is wicked. <laughs> Man, this is cool. So the glare from the sun is kind of messing with this, but there is a whole bunch of really large uh, ray fleck right in here. You can kinda, kinda, yeah, there we go, so there we go. So you can see these lines, that's all ray fleck and curl through here or some kind of figure, I guess. And then we got some more kind of ray flecky stuff going on up here too. So some nice quarters on area. Here is the, uh, the bark and uh, a little bug. <laughs> and we got a little bit of crotch figure there. So actually the, the two slabs are not connected here at all, but then they reconnect up in here. This is how it was cut. 
So if you take a look at the underside here, you can see what I'm talking about. We have cut to the bottom side of the crotch there. So that is the bark area there, and that's the hole right there. So that's kind of cool. The next ones, I guess, will not have any meat right here. They'll just be <laughs> only connected down here and be fully disconnected down here. So we'll have this big V void through here. Now, before I throw another slab onto the pile, I'm gonna just pick it up real quick and see how uh, the skid steer feels with this much weight. Mm. Yeah, that's a little, uh, well, what do we got four left on the stack. Yeah, I'll just do two piles. That's fine. Whoop. What do you think, sound effects? Yes or no? <laughs> Beep boop boop boop. I don't know why I'm doing a robot sound effect. Someone glues together on me. That'd be a hilarious practical joke. Someone just like glued the slabs together. When I wasn't looking. Oh. So this is interesting. We have a tiny bit of wood here still. Oh, that's cool. All right, let's see what this looks like. Oh, I got some more Ray Fleck. So we got uh, some nice Ray Fleck down here in this quarter saw in section. Whew, that's nice. So then up in here is where things get kind of interesting and goofy. We got that little bit of connective meat right there surrounded by the, uh, the bark inclusion. So that is really cool. Ooh. So here we go. Here's where things get kind of interesting because we have a pretty big void here between the two limbs. This is just cool with how this is like kind of bulging in, in over here. And you got a little bit of this bark inclusion coming down through here with a tiny hint of crotch figure. You got a little old limb there. So here is a closer look at that. Kind of a cool detail in here. But imagine you can fill this with something and or like an inlay of uh, something else or epoxy or glass or something weird. And you can even make that into a circle table too, which could be interesting. I have a cool piece. And before I bury this one, because I keep forgetting to get some measurements, getting a little bit on the narrow side again, <laughs> but uh, the widest area through here is 54 inches. So that's pretty good splay. And then in here, the midway up, we're at 33. Down on this end, we are at 28. So pretty good sized slabs. And that is the, uh, that's gonna be the last one that I cut. So we'll see what's kind of left underneath here. If there's anything super worthwhile or not. Looks like it's gonna be pretty thin around here. So yeah, there's not a whole lot of material left right through here. So I think what we'll do is end up flipping this thing over and making uh, you know one more cut, and this may end up just being something that becomes disconnected, and then you have all this material through here. So it's like one kind of weird length board. So I had a look around and I don't think I cut that bottom section again after I flip it on the saw. So it's probably like hanging out somewhere in the yard at the, uh, at the old house and hasn't made the trip over here yet. So I guess that's it. <laughs> so these slabs were like uh, the slabs we cut last time, the, um, the walnut, <laughs> they came over here 
on one of the first loads right after you closed on the house and they are stacked back here in the first of the uh, the horse shelters here so uh, yeah some pretty big giant red oak crotches looking forward to seeing those ones get used and become something there's some kind of let's say interesting things going on with their uh, their overall shape so the first shelter is starting to fill up I have uh, a little more stacking to do and we have several more videos that uh, I shot last fall at the old house still to get through so look for some more things that kind of look like spring where they're actually fall at the uh, at the other house coming up pretty shortly <laughs> so that's gonna do it for this one thank you as always for watching I greatly appreciate it for any questions or comments on the sawmill anything back at the old house or anything here please feel free to leave me a comment as always I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have and until next time happy woodworking <laughs>